Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have another baby album to share with you. This was a custom ordered album, and she requested that I use the safari theme and a white album base, and to keep it unisex, since the recipient doesn't know yet whether she's having a boy or a girl. So I'm using an adorable paper, actually two paper collections from Knitwit Collections. I'm using Jungle Fun and Hula Bazoo, so I'll be sure to link those down in the description box. And on, here's the back, I use the same paper. On the front and back cover, I did spray it with the Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Spray, just to help seal it, along with this little guy here. On the spine, I use this gorgeous gray trim, which I thought was perfect for a unisex album. The album is seven and a half by six and three quarters. I use this cut from the Silhouette online store. It's an oval cut. And I did about four layers of it with the zebra as well. He's from the online Silhouette store also. So it does have some dimension to it. I added a piece of clear cardstock. And here I put baby's first year using the font Blackjack. I added a little label that says Bundle of Joy and then some of the crystal Nouveau Crystal Drops. And for the little zebra, I did cut out another one and added glossy accents to his little nose. As you can see, it's still very cloudy. I just did that maybe a half hour ago. So I haven't decided if I'm going to use them on the front of the album yet or not. I'm going to wait till it dries and then just kind of stare at it for a little while and make my decision on whether or not I like it with or without the glossy accents. So again, this is a baby's first year. It goes through the entire first year of the baby's life, which is a great gift to give because the, the new mom's going to be very busy. With this album, she can quickly add photos, add some journaling, and she has a great keepsake. So the entire album, every page on the right has a pocket. On the left hand side is a place for a photo. This photo mat is four and one eighth by six and one eighth. So when the mom adds a four by six photo, she'll still have a small white border around. And look at this adorable guy. I did double up on all of them being that there's gonna be photos placed behind them. I wanted them a little bit more stable. And I also sprayed them with the Mod Podge clear acrylic spray as well. You can find that at Michael's. I would suggest using a coupon for it if you get it from Michael's. Um, you can find a really good price on it at Amazon and I just picked up another one at Walmart for about the same price after I used a coupon at Michael's that's about four or five dollars for the spray. I use the matte finish also. On this side this is going to be for the newborn baby so I added welcome little one with this adorable little baby monkey. To the pocket I have a photo mat. Now this is four and a half by six and a half. The pattern paper is four and a quarter by six and a quarter, so when the mom adds a four by six, she's going to have a nice little border of the pattern paper. And then this is the newborn. The mom can add the name to the top, birth date, time, weight, height, hospital, doctor, and she can jot down some notes um, or add a baby photo to that. And the pockets that I use, here's for another album I'm working on. I like to add tabs to my pockets. You can glue the pocket directly down by adding glue to both the left, the right side, and the bottom. But by doing that, it's going to glue a portion of your pocket down, so you're not going to get as much room in your pocket by doing that way. So by adding tabs to it and then gluing it down, you're going to get a lot of space in your pocket. So for example, I have, these are thick craft cardstock, and there's 13 of them here they very easily fit into the pocket, which I would not suggest doing that in all the pockets because it's gonna bulk out the album a little too much, but the mom can easily get five or six photos in each one of these um, pocket pages. Every single one has a side pullout mat. I designed this on my Cameo with the bracket edge. This is a large mat, so the mom can easily get a five by seven photo on these, front and back, smaller photos, or just journaling. I know in my son's baby book, I journaled a lot. I wanted to remember all the little things, which I'm glad I did because by the time he was a year old, I was forgetting things that he was doing at one month and two months. So this to me is a great um, way to keep a keepsake of all of that. So on this side, I have an Allie Edwards stamp that says, love you so very much. I added some Teresa Collins enamel dots and I cut out this little wonky scallop border from black cardstock. This guy comes in the paper collection, super cute. He's one of my favorite in this collection. And um, this stamp here, place photo here, I was able to get in the same spot on all of them using my Misty. 
And in case you're wondering where I got this, I don't want to name the store because I wasn't happy with where I got it. I wasn't happy with the um, company, but you can just Google place photo here stamp and you'll find tons of places that sell them for a few dollars. Here's the photo mat in this one. All of them have, besides the newborn, which is a little bit different, I wanted some stats on that as well. I designed these on my Cameo. They have month one through 12. And again, a great way for the mom to write new things that the baby's doing or how much the baby's eating, things like that. I love this paper collection. Look how cute this panda looks with this paper. It all coordinates so well together. This little giraffe and this little miracle I got from the online silhouette store. So I printed that out before, or I put that on the paper before printing it out. Absolutely everything besides the photo mat and the milestone cards, and of course the album itself has been distressed, um, just lightly distressed with vintage photo on the edges. This little guy comes in the paper collection, adorable papers. And then this is another Allie Edwards stamp. It says, Grateful for You, some more Teresa Collins enamel dots. And then this cute little elephant was from my, uh, or from the online silhouette store. This here is super cute paper. This here is a little tag that I have um, in my stash. I added the pattern paper to the top and some of this really soft trim that I had in my stash. So this, these little tags are perfect for like maybe just a quick little memory or a date or a little tiny photo, a two by two photo would work great. This little guy comes in the paper collection, super cute. On this side I have two different things um, that I added to the paper, sweet baby, some more enamel dots. Love this zebra paper along with this blue. I just love how that looks together. This is a, one of the solids that come in the paper collection. Some more enamel dots and another one of those wonky scallop borders. I added love you little one to the pocket. Here is the photo mat for month five. Love this little guy. I got him from the online silhouette store. I think he looks so cute with this paper. And on this side, I added the word blessed. These little guys come from the paper collection and I made them one inch because I had these one inch clear uh, stickers to add to the top of them by making memories. So it kind of turns them into like a flare badge. This paper is so cute to me. Again, from the online silhouette store, I have this little monkey holding his banana, this one hanging from the tree and the word baby cute paper. This is going to look so cute with photos in it. Another little tag with blue trim this time. This guy comes from the paper collection. This um, I got from the online silhouette store. It's two different pieces that I added. I love the little baby because it has the definition of baby and I love that it was in green so that way it wasn't boy or girl. So I just turned it a little bit on its side, added some more enamel dots, and here is the mat for this page. This adorable giraffe comes in the paper collection. This one from my stash along with this from the online store. I love this font. It says, your first breath took hours away. And then I put like a mom and baby giraffe there. Again, online silhouette store here and here, another little tag. And I love that um, I just sized it down to uh, be in accordance with this small tag because it's this paper collection right here. So you could see the scale difference. That's one of the many reasons I love working with digital papers. On this side, I just used a punch that I have, a bracket punch, added the saying, love you, sweet baby. Another photo mat to the pocket. This is from month 10. This little hippo comes in the paper collection. Added another of the scallop borders along with bundle of joy and another photo mat. Such a sweet baby album. Here is the elephant from the paper collection. 
and this is going to be the baby's first birthday so I added the stamp happy birthday to it along with this cute little border. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and check out the description box for links to this paper collection. Thanks so much for watching.